Well, good morning and welcome to a little bit different environment this morning. You can probably tell this is not my den and I'm not in a blue leather recliner. Uh, I am out here uh, in one of my favorite spots uh, in the marsh in the little blue Jeep uh, waiting for what I would describe as a trophy Russian boar. Now he's been out here for a while. He and I have had a few run-ins and he's beat me a couple of times and that makes me mad. And uh, last night I left a church function at her about 7.30ish, came out here and sat and sat. And uh, with the thermal, uh, I sat here until 9.07 p.m. And <laughs> be darn if uh, I had to go home and go to bed because I mean, it's time to do biscuits this morning, right? Well, at 9.07, I finally left here. And uh, before I could get home at 9.20, uh, there was a group of uh, wily native uh, wild boars out here. So thir missed them by 13 minutes last night. So I thought to myself, since I've been seeing some of them on the camera uh, that sends pictures to my phone, lots of rednecks have those now, uh, since I had pictures of them, uh, some of them coming back out early in the morning, uh, I would come back out here and have my biscuit with you this morning uh, in the marshes of Southeast Texas, my happy place. And so I'm glad you're here this morning. If you uh, have your Bible with you, if you wanna turn with me to please to uh, Proverbs chapter four, uh, verse 23, we'll take a look uh, at what the scripture has to say. And the title of this morning's biscuit is Sandbags and a Pump. Sandbags and a Pump. So uh, if you're just getting up, the uh, dark has passed, the gray daylight has passed, and now we're on the purple daylight. And uh, animals love edges. They love the edge of daylight, the edge of dark. They love the edge of fields, the edge of uh, woods, the edge of creeks, and uh, it's the edge of daylight. So welcome uh, to the 23rd day of May. And the uh, book of Proverbs chapter four, verse 23 says, keep your heart with all diligence, vigilance. Boy, that's funny, isn't it, diligence? Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it, flow the springs of life. <clears throat> now, as much as I love sitting out here uh, and doing these things in Southeast Texas, uh, which is my home uh, at this point, uh, there are things about Southeast Texas that might not be so great. And you probably know what they are and it's getting to be that time uh, of the year again, that time that we all hate, it's called hurricane season or storm season because uh, two of the storms that came the closest to putting water in my home uh, were not uh, hurricanes. They were tropical storms. Uh, one of them by the name of Allison, the other by the name of Harvey. I think you probably remember those. Allison was in 2001, Harvey was in 2017. And, uh, you know, at the old place, we did so much hurricane relief for so many people for so long, I was just absolutely raw with it. And uh, a few summers back, it was just like hurricanes are us. And it was boom, 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 Laura, Gamma, Delta. Okay, they went through the alphabet the first time and started on Greek letters. And as you remember, uh, the Lord allowed Laura, Gamma, and Delta to bypass us. And I was just so grateful because I didn't think I could do uh, another storm right then and the Lord let us rest and I still thank him for it uh, every day. So now I have a routine at my house when the storms come and particularly the high water storms like Allison and Imelda and Harvey, uh, the water flows down my street and makes the corner uh, into the drainage ditch behind my house. And as the water builds up and it's having trouble making that corner, it builds up against the front of my house, which becomes a dam keeping the water from trying to get to that ditch. So in Allison in 2001, I learned that if I would tear out the fence, fences are cheap in the grand scheme of things. Uh, if I would tear out the fence uh, on the sides of my house that go from the side of the brick to the other fence and let that water bypass the house on both sides, the level can't get high enough fast enough to come in the house. At least that's what's worked so far and we thank God uh, for his grace and preserving our house thus far. That's the arrangement we have at my house. It's worked so far, I'm grateful for it, but some people have a completely different plan. That's where we get to today's subject, uh, sandbags and a pump. 
particularly around some of these older uh, AT&T installations, you will see sandbag walls built around them uh, with some bisqueen or uh, plastic over those sandbags and in those sandbags to create kind of a fortress around that installation. Some people do that with their homes and then they will leave a guy there or if it's a homeowner, he will stay inside that sandbag wall fortification around his house with a pump. And so the wall with the sandbags and the plastic keeps most of the water out. What does seep through, uh, he pumps back out with that pump and he keeps his house dry. So what's our point for today? That's the arrangement that it takes to keep your mind and your heart pure, if you're not aware of that. Build a wall as high and as strong as you can around your mind and your heart to protect it from evil thoughts and evil desires. And then keep a pump inside that wall that if anything seeps in, you can pump it back out. It must not settle and it must not accumulate in your heart. So I would encourage you today, as we start our day, let's get control of our minds and our hearts. Jesus and the Holy Spirit thoughts only on the inside, a wall to the outside, and a pump for anything that gets through and is immediately jettisoned back out. Why? Because we want to keep our hearts pure. Proverbs 4.23, keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for this morning. Thank you for time together. Just that daylight, Lord, thank you for the beauty uh, from the marsh to the mountains to the Gulf of Mexico of what you've made, and it just speaks your name. Lord, we glorify you. Thank you for telling us to keep our minds and our hearts pure. We pray that we would honor you in obedience by doing that. And God, we pray that we would be vigilant about it today. So Lord, let the words of our mouths and meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, for you are our rock and our redeemer. Lord, help us to be faithful to you and good to the people around us. Lord, we love you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So uh, it was a little coolish when I walked out of the house compared to what it's going to be later this summer. It's 68 degrees this morning uh, on the way to 90 degrees. Not very much chance of rain. Just a regular old almost summer day here in southeast Texas. And uh, I sure do hope to see you. Memorial Day is going to be a great weekend. We're going to remember our veterans who gave their lives. Uh, for our freedom, and we're going to have church at Southeast Texas Church uh, on Walden Road at 10 a.m., so come join us for that. Take a break from the beach. Take a break from the lake. Come to church with us for a little while Sunday morning. Let's lift up the Lord and thank him for all the blessings that we enjoy, and uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you, and may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you, I'm praying for you, and I'll see you right back here or somewhere close by bright and early tomorrow morning. God bless you.